there's a connection here that we can redesign our economy, that we can tackle this issue. Um, that's conceptually very good, but, the, but clearly we also want things to happen directly mm -hmm. as a result of our research and research of others um, and other collaborators. What are some of those actions that we'd like to see and who needs to act? So we've been really emphasizing the role of businesses and policymakers because there is a huge opportunity to really leverage the circular economy to help meet biodiversity ambitions. And um, uh, businesses in particular, what, we, what we've been seeing is that more and more companies are now starting to see the value of uh, biodiversity, but also how they can leverage the circular economy to find solutions. So we identify three key steps that businesses can take already today to help, uh, to help uh, tackle biodiversity loss with the circular economy. So one of the first step is about um, assessing your impact and dependencies on nature. And once you understand where key priorities are, it's to then set scientifically based um, uh, targets. The second step is to identify circular economy opportunities that help you reach those targets. And here a study, as I mentioned earlier, uh, looks into these four sectors, and there you can give an, you can have an indication of how, where those opportunities are, and how that can help um, not only safeguard biodiversity but also rebuild biodiversity. And the third step is collaboration. So we need collaboration to be able to um, uh, find innovative solutions that can help drive that system level change that we need. So collaboration across supply chains, across sectors with also multiple stakeholders, um, and we can, you know, with universities, NGOs, and policymakers, And together, um, we can find solutions and collectively work to help tackle this global uh, crisis. Numerous papers have shown the kind of macroeconomic opportunity of a circular economy. Mm -hmm. um, I guess our viewers might be listening to the recommendations thinking, well, is this something that businesses would do kind of out of the goodness of their heart? Is that partly where the role of policy comes from? Is there an economic opportunity attached to this as well? Do we know that yet? So the circular economy absolutely has a huge economic opportunity for businesses and, and economies just in general. Um, it's really all about decoupling economic growth from our consumption of finite resources. Um, um, in this study, we, we make the link between circular economy and biodiversity, but the Finnish innovation fund Citra is currently working on a report that's really exactly looking at that connection and helping quantify to what extent the circular economy can help address uh, and tackle biodiversity loss. And it's looking at key sectors that have uh, the biggest impact on biodiversity. So that's an exciting report that will come out in the, in the next couple of months and we'll be able to shed a bit more light on the extent of the opportunity. And the role of policymakers in this? I, mean, I mentioned the, the meeting at Kunming in China that's, I think it's uh, happening digitally, and it's the face-to-face -face in person negotiations are in 2022, but um, what's their role? What do we want, what are we expecting them to do? So policymakers, they have an essential role in really enabling that transformative change. Um, so just to set a bit of context, um, in 2010, we have set biodiversity targets. And unfortunately, we've not been able to meet any of those targets until now, even though we've seen increasing commitments and actions. So this is why the COP15 on biodiversity is so incredibly important, because leaders from around the world will come together to determine this post-2020 global biodiversity uh, framework where collectively we're going to be setting strategies, ambitions and targets to help tackle biodiversity loss. And this framework, uh, one of the things that, that, that is being discussed in there is um, how to transform our production and consumption systems to positively impact biodiversity. And so this is exactly where the circular economy can play a key role. And policymakers uh, can help by recognizing um, uh, the, the circular economy as a key delivery mechanism to be able to reach these biodiversity ambitions and in particular with how we produce our goods and grow our food um, and, and, and that, you know, that relationship with the circular economy and, and biodiversity.